Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, its newest passenger aircraft, arrived in Japan this week for readiness tests ahead of its entry into commercial service. Japan's All Nippon Airways is the launch customer for the 787 and has 55 of the jets on order. Service is due to begin in August or September this year, and this week's flights are meant to provide ANA with some hands-on experience to help ensure things go as planned when commercial flights begin. The start of 787 flights is about three years behind schedule because of technical problems that have plagued development work, but Boeing says those problems are now behind it. The 787 is not only the newest airliner in the skies, but also the most high-tech. The fuselage is made of a composite plastic, not aluminium like other aircraft, and that means it's lighter. Combined with more efficient engines, the 787 should burn about 20% less fuel than a 767, and that means 20% less carbon dioxide. The engine housings have been adapted with a noise-reducing material around the air intake and tipped exhaust covers to make life quieter for passengers and those on the ground. Inside, the 787 has an all-electronic cockpit and aircraft-wide computer network that links the flight deck to all of the control systems. Many of the air and hydraulic systems found in other airliners have been replaced with electronic systems in the 787. The brakes, for example, are entirely electrically driven. Sensors throughout the aircraft constantly measure flight parameters and, if sent back to base, allow an airline to monitor in real time the aircraft as it flies. That means that if something needs attention, a repair team can be waiting as soon as the plane stops after it lands. For passengers, the most obvious difference will be in the cabin. Pull-up and down window shades are gone in favour of electrochromatic dimmable windows. They act like adjustable sunglasses and should put a stop to the glare often encountered when flying high above clouds. The windows themselves are bigger and LED lighting is used throughout the cabin. On ANA, high-tech Japanese washlet toilets are fitted in all classes and passengers will also find a power outlet, USB port and iPod connector. And the entertainment system screens are all touch panels. And one final change? The cabin is pressurized to 6,000 feet instead of the normal 8,000 feet. ANA says that should mean passengers feel less tired when they get off long flights. In Tokyo, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service.